Our planet is in crisis. Floods ravage coastal communities. Wildfires consume vast forests. Hurricanes grow stronger and more frequent. These aren't just random acts of nature. They're symptoms of a deeper problem environmental degradation. Environmental degradation is the deterioration of our natural world. It's caused by human activities that harm ecosystems, deplete resources, and pollute the air, water, and soil. This damage doesn't just affect plants and animals. It has serious consequences for human beings too. As we destroy nature, we make ourselves more vulnerable to natural disasters. Natural disasters are extreme events that can cause widespread damage and loss of life. Scientists believe this is directly linked to environmental degradation and climate change. By understanding this connection, we can take steps to protect ourselves and our planet. In the following sections, we'll explore how human activities contribute to environmental damage and what we can do to make a difference. Humans have always interacted with their environment, but in the last few centuries, our impact has grown exponentially. We've reshaped the face of the earth to suit our needs. We've built cities, dammed rivers, and cleared forests. One of the most significant ways we affect the environment is through greenhouse gas emissions. These gases trap heat in the atmosphere, leading to global warming. Our consumption habits also play a role in environmental degradation. This leads to massive amounts of waste, much of which ends up in landfills or in our oceans. By understanding these impacts, we can start to make changes in our daily lives that can help protect the environment. Forests are often called the lungs of the earth. They absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, helping to regulate our planet's climate. They also provide homes for countless species of plants and animals. But these vital ecosystems are under threat. Every year, millions of hectares of forest are destroyed. This process is known as deforestation. Deforestation happens for many reasons, including agriculture, timber, and urban development. When forests are destroyed, it has far-reaching consequences. The loss of trees means less carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere, accelerating global warming. Deforestation also disrupts local weather patterns and increases the risk of natural disasters. Trees help to stabilize soil with their roots. When they're removed, the soil becomes loose and more likely to erode, leading to landslides. In coastal areas, mangrove forests act as natural barriers against storm surges. Their destruction leaves communities more vulnerable to flooding and hurricanes. By understanding these connections, we can see why protecting our forests is so crucial for both the environment and human safety. Industrial pollution is a visible form of environmental degradation. It contaminates air, water, and soil. This pollution comes in many forms. Smoke from factory chimneys, chemicals dumped into rivers, and toxic waste buried in landfills. These pollutants impact the environment and human health. Air pollution is widespread. Harmful gases and particles are released into the atmosphere. These pollutants come from various sources. Power plants release sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Factories emit toxic chemicals. Vehicles emit carbon monoxide and particulate matter. Pollutants can cause acid rain. Acid rain damages forests, lakes, and buildings. Water pollution is a major concern. Industries discharge waste into water bodies. This includes chemicals and heavy metals. Contaminated water can't support life. Recognizing pollution helps us work towards cleaner practices. Section 5. Urban Sprawl, Concrete Jungles and Environmental Consequences As our population grows, so do our cities. Urban sprawl is the rapid expansion of cities into surrounding rural areas. It's characterized by low-density development, car-dependent communities, and the loss of natural habitats. One of the most immediate effects of urban sprawl is the loss of green spaces. As cities expand, forests, wetlands, and farmlands are paved over. This reduces habitat for wildlife and disrupts ecosystems. It also means less land available for agriculture, potentially threatening food security. Urban sprawl also leads to increased pollution. As cities spread out, people become more dependent on cars for transportation. This results in more traffic, more fuel consumption, and more air pollution. The extensive use of concrete and asphalt in urban areas creates what's known as the heat island effect. Cities become significantly warmer than surrounding rural areas, contributing to local climate change. Water management is another challenge in sprawling urban areas. By understanding these impacts, we can work towards more sustainable urban planning that balances growth with environmental protection. Section 6. Wildfires when nature's fury meets human negligence. 
Wildfires are a natural part of many ecosystems. They help clear out dead vegetation and promote new growth. But in recent years, wildfires have become more frequent, more intense, and more destructive. This change is closely linked to environmental degradation and climate change. Climate change is making conditions more favorable for wildfires. As temperatures rise, vegetation becomes drier and more flammable. Droughts, which are becoming more common due to climate change, further increase the risk of fires. Human activities are also contributing to the wildfire problem. As urban areas expand into wildlands, we create what's called the wildland urban interface. This puts more homes and infrastructure at risk from fires. Deforestation and poor forest management practices make the wildfire situation worse. When we remove large, fire-resistant trees and replace them with smaller, more flammable vegetation, we create conditions ripe for intense fires. By understanding these factors, we can work towards better fire prevention and management strategies. This includes addressing climate change, improving forest management, and creating fire-resistant communities. Section 7. Floods Rising Waters in a Changing Climate Floods are among the most common and costly natural disasters. They occur when water overflows onto normally dry land. While flooding has always been a natural process, human activities are making floods more frequent and more severe. This is closely tied to environmental degradation and climate change. Climate change is altering rainfall patterns around the world. In many areas, rainstorms are becoming more intense. This means more water falling in a shorter period of time, increasing the risk of flash floods. At the same time, sea levels are rising due to melting ice caps and thermal expansion of the oceans. This makes coastal flooding more likely, especially during storms. Human activities on the land also contribute to flooding. Deforestation removes trees that would normally absorb rainwater and slow its flow. This allows water to rush more quickly into rivers and streams, increasing the risk of flooding downstream. In urban areas, the problem is even worse. By understanding these connections, we can work towards better flood management strategies that work with nature, not against it. Section 8. Hurricanes. Storms intensified by warmer oceans. Hurricanes are powerful tropical storms that form over warm ocean waters. They're known for their strong winds, heavy rains, and storm surges. While hurricanes are a natural phenomenon, there's growing evidence that human activities are making them more destructive. Climate change is playing a significant role in intensifying hurricanes. Warmer ocean waters provide more energy for hurricanes to form and grow stronger. Scientists have observed that the proportion of the most intense hurricanes, like Category 4 and 5, has been increasing in recent decades. Warmer air can hold more moisture, leading to heavier rainfall during hurricanes. This increases the risk of flooding, which is often the most deadly aspect of these storms. Rising sea levels, another consequence of climate change, makes storm surges more destructive. Human activities along coastlines are making hurricane impacts worse. The destruction of natural barriers like mangrove forests and coral reefs leaves coastal areas more vulnerable to storm surges. By understanding these factors, we can work towards better hurricane preparedness and coastal management strategies. Section 9. Landslides. When the earth gives way. Landslides occur when masses of rock, earth, or debris move down a slope. They can be triggered by natural events like heavy rainfall or earthquakes, but human activities are making landslides more frequent and more dangerous. This is closely tied to environmental degradation and poor land management practices. Deforestation is a major contributor to landslide risk. Trees play a crucial role in stabilizing slopes. Their roots help hold soil in place and absorb excess water. When trees are removed, the soil becomes looser and more prone to sliding. Urban development can also increase landslide risk. As cities expand, they often spread into hilly or mountainous areas. Construction on these slopes can destabilize the land. Cutting into hillsides for roads or buildings removes natural support for the soil above. Adding weight to slopes through construction can also increase the likelihood of a landslide. By understanding these connections, we can work towards better land management practices. Section 10. Reducing our impact steps towards environmental protection. The challenges we face are daunting, but there's hope. We have the power to reduce our impact on the environment and mitigate the risks of natural disasters. It starts with understanding our connection to the natural world and making conscious choices in our daily lives. One of the most important steps we can take is reducing our carbon footprint. This means using less energy and choosing cleaner energy sources. We can do this by using energy-efficient appliances, driving less, 
and supporting renewable energy. Protecting and restoring natural ecosystems is another crucial step. This includes supporting reforestation efforts, protecting wetlands, and preserving coastal habitats. These natural systems provide vital services like carbon sequestration, flood control, and storm protection. By preserving them, we're investing in our own safety and well-being. By taking these steps, we can create more resilient communities that are better prepared for future challenges. Section 11, a call to action, safeguarding our planet for future generations. We stand at a crossroads. The choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. The impacts of environmental degradation are clear. 